Good morning. Welcome to a Monday morning. If you have to hit to the roads this morning, let's show you what you can expect. This is Interstate 15, Pocatello, looking at the Clark Street exit. Through this stretch, not too bad, but the further south you go, Income, south I-15, all the way to the Utah border, we're getting the snow already and blowing snow, so road conditions are not the best. Winter storm warning until 5 a.m. Wednesday morning, area shaded in pink, could be hitting about a foot in new snow, give or take a couple of inches, but we're going to factor in some wind, too. Winter weather advisory from 11 o'clock tonight till Tuesday at 5 p.m., upper valley, lower valley, we're talking snow three to four inches, and then you're going to factor in this winter wind advisory until five o'clock tomorrow winds anywhere from 25 to 35 mile per hour sustained 50 mile per hour gusts you combine that with the snow not the best driving conditions 36 right now pocatello with a 23 mile per hour wind speed feels like it's 24 cloudy skies 33 through idaho falls and a 22 mile per hour wind speed so that puts us at 21 for feels like temperature temperatures around the region 30s and 20s and through western wyoming soda springs 24 malad city where we got the snow falling 31 degrees 20 for rexburg wind speeds right now checking in with 20 mile per hour wind speeds through pocatello idaho falls 15 mile per hour wind speeds from Blackfoot to Fort Hall, 10 mile per hour winds through Downey, 15 mile per hour winds through Aberdeen area, single digits out at the site. And that's affecting our wind chills. You can see taking us down into low 20s for Driggs, mid teens for Jackson, 21 for Afton. Here's a look at some of that snow that's blowing right now, crossing Interstate 15, stretching from Pocatello, running through Incom, Malad City there at the summit, McCammon as well. We're looking at the storm tracker radar. This system coming in is going to be pushing the snow into our area later this afternoon and this evening. So that's when we've got a chance of snow through the Snake River Plain and windy conditions as well. 20 to 25 mile per hour sustained winds up until this afternoon. Highs though at or above the freezing mark, which is a positive. We do have snow showers through the highlands in western Wyoming with Jackson hitting a high of 30, Island Park 27. And then through the central mountains, just mostly cloudy skies. Salmon almost 40 degrees. Same for Chalice, 35 for Ledor, Mackey, 36 for Stanley 32 for Arco. Then overnight tonight is when those snow showers are going to start up through the central mountains. 30 for Low and Chalice, 29 for Letter, 27 for Stanley and Arco. In through the highlands of western Wyoming, you can expect snow as well. Jackson 29 for Low, Afton, Yellowstone 28, Driggs 30, 27 for Island Park and Soda Springs. And then for the Snake River Plain, rain snow mix because it's actually going to warm up overnight tonight and get above that freezing mark. Pocatello 34, Idaho Falls 33, Rexburg, St. Anthony all 32. And as we take a look at our Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast, that snow is going to continue Wednesday into Thursday. Windy tomorrow with 20 to 25 mile per hour sustained winds, breezy on Wednesday. Another chance of snow coming in Friday. We do have a cold front coming in. That's the cause of the wind that's picking up. You can see from Blackfoot, we can go from 36 the high tomorrow to 18 for the high on Wednesday back into the 20s and 30s for the rest of the week as things calm down just a little bit. Idaho Falls windy conditions Tuesday and Wednesday with snow falling going from 35 tomorrow for a high 16 for Wednesday for a high and overnight lows down into the single digits. Rexburg you can expect snow for Tuesday and Wednesday with windy to breezy conditions highs going from the 30s down to the teens back up into the 20s overnight lows in the single digits Teton area windy with snow tomorrow Wednesday snow for Friday and Monday and for the central mountains you can expect a chance of snow tomorrow then cloudy skies taking us through the rest of the week and cold temperatures overnight lows below zero Deanne